Hello, my name's Paul Stanford. I'm an activist in the United States that's been working to legalize marijuana for almost 40 years, and we finally got it over the finish line here in Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Alaska, and ironically, Washington, D.C., the home of federal marijuana prohibition in the United States. The Greek Cannabis Legalization Campaign and the Athens Global Marijuana March have asked me to produce this video for the Cannabis Forum in Athens on the 5th and 6th of November. And I'm happy to do that. I want to welcome you folks who can understand English or the translation and subtitles here. Uh, I've been given a few questions to answer and respond. So the first question is, could I provide an overview of the legal situation in the United States regarding cannabis regulation? And uh, I can tell you that right now we can legally possess, use, and grow marijuana in four states and the District of Columbia for adult personal use. Any adult can possess marijuana and grow it in most states. Washington, you can't grow your own. You can only buy it through the stores. But uh, the other states, you can. And so there's a vote now. Five states are going to vote later this week to legalize marijuana in the United States. Arizona, Maine, uh, California being the biggest of those states. And then four more states are going to vote for medical marijuana, including the state of Florida. And so the, the, the marijuana industry has created tens of thousands of jobs, and it's already a $15 billion industry, just the legal industry. And California will probably double that. The next question I have is, what would you consider the optimal model for cannabis regulation and change to see in the near future? I think it's very important that we be allowed to grow cannabis for fuel, fiber, food, and medicine without restrictions on the THC level. Low THC hemp, even though it's promoted, produces just 1 20th as much fuel and seed and protein as high THC cannabis. So farmers who are going to grow for, and it produces twice as much fiber as high THC cannabis produces twice as much fiber as low THC hemp. So we need to grow high THC cannabis for fuel, for food, for fiber, for medicine, and for fun. And so I think that a model that allows uh, farmers to cultivate the most productive varieties of cannabis is critical, and that's been the law I've really pushed for. Then I'm saying, what would I say to Greek decision makers regarding cannabis regulation and the Greek legalization movement regarding ways to influence public policy and policy makers? One of the main things to do is to educate people. You know, I created this television show, Cannabis Common Sense, back in 1996, 20 years ago. And when I did, everybody thought I'm going to jail for a long time and they're going to come down and and get me. But I stood out here and stood for freedom and liberty and educated the masses until we won the vote for marijuana by a significant majority, by 58% back in uh, 2014, just two years ago right now. So you need to educate people and you've got to engage with the political process. Get people in the major parties, in the parliament, in Greece, educate them about hemp for fuel, hemp for food, hemp for fiber, hemp for fun, and hemp for medicine. And that's, that's the way we're going to do that. And encourage them to come out of the closet and talk about hemp being the oldest and most productive crop. Not only does it produce more fuel, more food, more fiber, more medicine than any other plant, it's also the oldest crop that's been cultivated for over 12,000, maybe over 40,000 years by humans. So the, the final question is, what impresses you more regarding the cannabis plant? What do you appreciate and love about it? Well, I love the effects. I've always uh, found them to be much more positive than the effects of alcohol. It's not for everyone, but it, we shouldn't be put in jail for using marijuana. But again, I think marijuana prohibition was never about drugs. Drugs have always been a smokescreen. Marijuana prohibition is really about money, power, and the continued centralization of economic and political control. Marijuana prohibition is based on racist lies that were propagated by the petrochemical, pharmaceutical, military, industrial, transnational, 
corporate, elite, crony, capitalist, ruling class. And when we allow farmers to cultivate hemp without regard to its THC content, but with regard to the most productive varieties for fuel, fiber, food, and medicine, then instead of all of our money being centralized in the hands of the few, these multinational corporations and rich despots in Saudi Arabia and Nigeria and other countries. The money will go to our farmers. It'll be decentralized. Instead of seeing the further centralization of wealth, we'll see the decentralization of wealth. And perhaps more importantly, we'll see uh, the end of global warming, the uh, uh, end of world hunger, and the restoration of liberty and justice for all. So thank you for watching and legalize hemp, restore